Hi, in this video I'll be discussing about normal anatomic variants which are often misinterpreted as pathology. So we have various normal anatomic variants or normal structures which are often misdiagnosed as lesions. So the common ones are fordysis spots, lingual tonsils, circumvallate papilla, retrocuspid papilla, black hairy tongue, leukodema and tori. So first coming to fordysis spots. Usually sebaceous glands are associated with hair follicles and they have specific function. Sebaceous glands are absent on palms as well as in the sole. However, we have ectopic sebaceous glands located in either buccal or labial mucosa within oral cavity. They often appear to be white or cream colored elevations of roughly 0.5 mm diameter. Often they appear to be very much numerous and prominent and are misdiagnosed as some kind of pathology. In fact, they are normal. And then we have lingual tonsils. Lingual tonsils are usually present on the posterior part of the base of the tongue and they are normally enlarged in case of viral infections. So these are often misinterpreted as pathologic lesions when they are either enlarged or when they are present ectopically. However, they are absolutely normal findings within the oral cavity and should not be confused with pathologic lesions. And then we have circumvallate papilla, usually present on the tongue, anterior to the sulcus terminalis, which divides the tongue into anterior two thirds and the posterior one thirds, and they are again normal findings. And then we have retrocuspid papilla. Retrocuspid papilla are small, pink firm nodules usually 0.5 to 4 mm in diameter and are present on attached gingiva lingual to either mandibular canine or lateral incisor they are often found bilaterally but also can be found unilaterally usually they are very much prominent during childhood and they disappear with age And now we have another normal anatomic variant that is black hairy tongue. Usually furring of dorsum of tongue is common and is variable and depends on the dietary intake of the patient. When there is black pigmentation of this fur by certain pigmented bacteria then we consider this as black hairy tongue which is again a normal variation and should not be confused with a pathologic lesion. Now coming to leukodema. Leukodema is a creamy white, whitish, opalescent, translucent structure found on buccal mucosa most often. However, this is also found rarely on palate, floor of the mouth as well as on the labial mucosa. The characteristic feature of leukodema is it has the tendency to disappear or fade away on stretching and is found most commonly in black race. It's considered to be a normal variant rather than a pathology. And then we have tori. So tori are nothing but exostosis or bony elevations or protuberances of bone on a pre-existing bone usually found in the midline of palate or on the lingual alveolus in the premolar region. Even these are often misinterpreted as pathologic lesions. However, they are just normal findings. So, understanding the difference between normal anatomic variants and the pathologic lesions helps us to come to a proper diagnosis and most importantly assures our patients.